Hello everyone, how's it going? I am back again with another pick a card reading. Today's reading, we are gonna find out what is the person on your mind really think and feel about you. I have five options. You guys are the drill of the numbers, the stones, see what calls out to you. Now, while you guys do that, I do wanna let you know a few things. I am on Patreon. I upload every single week. It's only a dollar to support me on there. I also do wanna let you guys know I am selling my Oracle decks in my shops. All links will be below. Again, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. You can follow me on Instagram, Queen Alice Love for updates on everything I have going on because I do have a lot of things planned. Also, you guys can check out my other channels as well. I'll leave the links below. Okay, let's just hop right into the reading and find out what does the person on your mind really think and feel. And today I will be featuring my new digital deck as well. You guys can download that in my Etsy shop. All right, let's get started. All right, pile number one, let's hop right into the reading and find out what is the person on your mind really think and feel about this connection. Okay, this person definitely looks up to you guys. This person thinks you are like too good to be true. I feel as though if you guys are content creators or you post on any social media platform, this person is definitely watching you. We have a card down here that says, I watch your videos. It's from my new digital deck. If you guys are interested, my love notes. I feel as though this person definitely wants to heal this connection with you if there is some sort of turbulence because they think very highly of you. I think in the past or even in the present, this person could hold back with their feeling or even taking action because they just feel stupid for thinking that you guys even have a chance together. And some of you guys may not even believe this, but this person definitely is feeling like you are the one for them, but they feel kind of stupid thinking that. So they could have people around them that make them feel this way. The reason why I say that is because there is the card up here that says, I got it bad for you and I don't care what anyone else thinks. It's like, what are they thinking? You know, what do people say to this person? Not sure, but I do feel like it's pretty obvious that there's pretty much a lot of competition when it comes to you. Like you guys are somebody that is a hot commodity in this person's eyes. And I do feel it's because maybe they do see maybe online a lot of people pay attention to you or in this person's life. There has been people around them that were also interested or has told this person that like they don't have a shot because this person kind of feels like the only thing holding them back is the fact that maybe this is just too good to be true. You don't really like them. You're just playing them. I feel like this person may have some trust issues as well, but a lot of you guys would be really surprised to see how highly this person views you. We have the star and the empress, like you're like the ultimate wifey or husband situation for them in their eyes. And this person kind of sees themselves marrying you and it is kind of crazy if this is a new person in your life. Maybe they are a little cuckoo, but for some of you guys, you feel the same way or you get it. But I also feel for some of you, there is a little bit of this person being a little bit wowed by your star factor. I always tell you guys who come to this channel, a lot of you guys are my light workers and my healers and you got this energy that just gravitates people towards you. This person is very wowed by your energy, but a lot of you guys are kind of that girl or that guy that people really look to for advice or a lot of you guys could be popular or even famous because this person's kind of looking at you like, am I in love with this person or am I a fan? Because they kind of became a fan of you guys too as well after meeting you. Or some of you guys, maybe they were a fan first depending on your situation and you know that. But I definitely feel like if you're posting online or if you do create content, this person's definitely watching your videos or watching your stories or whatever you have going on, your tweets, so on and so forth. Let's see, I've always liked you. Yeah, I feel like this person could have had a crush on you for a while. I feel as though some of you guys may not realize how highly this person views you or how people view you in general because I do feel like this person doesn't like if you talk badly about yourself or some of you guys may say about yourself like that you had a glow up but this person thinks that you've always been attractive to them even if they've known you in the past maybe some of you guys they've seen old pictures of you and they're like whoa you've always been so attractive like this person just thinks you're such a you're such an amazing person inside out so they don't understand why you would even say anything bad about yourself maybe some of you guys don't but I do feel for some of you this could kind of relate to a situation where you're like oh I just had a glow up recently I wasn't always this attractive or something like that this person does think that you're pretty amazing talented smart like all the best things you can say about someone they think about you. And I, this person definitely does not think this way about a lot of people. There's something about meeting you that they're like, whoa, like I'm so excited someone in this planet exists. And even if they don't get to have you, they would love to like have somebody like you is what I'm hearing. So again, this is kind of intense. I feel like this is like a lot of energy for somebody that you guys just met, but it is very possible because a lot of you guys are just extremely talented and good looking and charismatic. You just got it like that. I feel like this person feels if they can end up with someone like you, they could die happy, they're a winner, yeah. This person kind of sees you paying attention to them as like a huge win. Like this person is like super excited if you guys text them, if you call them, like, yeah, this person's like so excited to meet you guys. I feel like even thinking about even having a shot with you makes this person feel like they made it in life. That's crazy. I'm so obsessed with you, I hate it. I can't even bring myself to be near you. Yeah, I do feel, for some of you, this could manifest in this person acting the complete opposite of what they feel because with the four pentacles and the late bloomer, 
I feel for some of you, this person doesn't feel ready for someone like you. They don't feel good enough. And it's not that they just feel like you're out of their league and they want to run away from the situation. It's kind of like they want to slow down these emotions so that they can kind of like gather themselves or they can work on themselves so they can come and make you a solid offer because you're not the type of person they just want to like play around with. Like you're somebody they actually see themselves with long term. Um, yeah, I feel like this person loves your like very maternal, nurturing qualities. You also have a star here, so this person loves that. Some of you guys could be humanitarians, you could be air signs, Taurus places too as well. I feel like you guys are a good combination of like humanitarian, but also like motherly as well, or fatherly or whatever, overprotective. Maybe you guys are overprotective over this person, or if you guys have mutual friends, it just seen you be like very caring, very loving. Uh, this person could be holding back the way they feel because they're just so wowed by you too. Like I do sense the energy of this person kind of taking a step back and being like, whoa, like, I know I think very highly of this person, but so do a lot of people. So do I really have a shot here? Uh, let's see what else is going on with this person. Let's see what their next move is going to be. I feel like I'm interested in that because uh, for some of you, like they may feel all these things, but I do see like the Knight of Pentacles there. I get the sense that this person does want to come towards you, but they are pumping the brakes a little bit because of um, fear of being played, fear that they're just stupid to even think they have a shot. Like some of you guys, it's definitely like big crush energy. So it makes sense. Like they haven't really approached yet. But if you get the impression this person has been Googling eyeing you, like you're not wrong. I do feel for some of you, especially if this person has had you on social media, they definitely watched you like longer than they want to admit or they look at your stuff before they even approached you for a while because I feel like there was some preparation that's going into approaching you. So if they did approach you at a certain point, I feel like there was some prep there. Um, if this person like just met you randomly, like out of the blue, then I feel like this person definitely did research about you afterwards. If you guys post or have social media, they watch all your stuff, read your captions, so on and so forth. Um, wow. It's kind of crazy. Get the death and the king of swords in reverse. Yeah. This person can be a little bit cold when it comes to certain people in their life, like letting people in. But I feel like you kind of make this person have a little bit of a soft spot. I also feel like this person is, yeah, for some of you, cause I do see the energy of like, I don't care what anyone says. If someone speaks badly about you or discourages somebody away from, uh, discourages this person away from this connection or somebody tells this person that they don't have a shot, like they get really upset. Like that's what I'm seeing. They actually really defend this connection and this person has defended you behind your back too as well. If there is like chitter chatter. Yeah, cause I feel like for some of you that could be the case because I do feel like it's like, I don't care what people say. Like you could have some haters in the midst just kind of jealous of you because you're really coming up as like that girl, that guy. This person is like really like being like, don't talk that way about my person. That's kind of what I'm seeing. I also got a little bit of deja vu. So this person could feel like they met you in a past life or something like that. Cause like the spiritual connection is kind of crazy here. But I guess for some of you, if you don't feel this way about this person, it could be one way and they could be right about what they're feeling. Hopefully you're not playing this person, but you definitely could. Like this person's like, honestly, I would even let them play me, but I don't want to tell them that. Like they're just so excited to be around you. They feel like they're learning, they're growing, they're elevating. This person could definitely like somebody that they can look up to like this could be a masculine that doesn't mind looking up to a feminine or a feminine doesn't mind looking up to a masculine but they definitely have knowledge that you are like kind of like a, a tier above them i guess for some of you this person could be younger than you which makes sense but some of you guys someone could have said something about you or gotten away with the connection this person has like cut off this person who spoke badly about you if you wanted to know that or they've gotten cold on people that don't encourage them to go for this connection because that's how strongly they feel about it this person definitely really defends you, I feel. That's really what I'm picking up on. They're very defensive over you too as well and over this connection because they really put a lot of energy into like a future with you, maybe in their mind. But I feel for some of you as a new person, like they want to go for this and they don't really care. People think the Hierophant, like this person wants to commit to you guys eventually. So if people in their life are like in the way that they're kind of like making room for this connection to work out, like they're already kind of like clearing house. So I definitely feel like this type of person that actually likes to make room for the things that they want in life. They think things through. Yeah, this person could be going through a transformation as well. Like, especially if it's an ex or somebody that obviously hasn't been like this in the past. And now they like don't want to lose you and they're realizing how much you mean to them. Because I do feel like for some of you, this person could have been playing a little hard to get. They could have been the king of swords in reverse, like trying to play it off that they didn't like you. But I get the feeling they were doing that because... They just didn't feel ready to go towards the connection and they feel like they'd rather come at the right time than come incorrectly or even kind of let you to believe that like they didn't like you just because they don't want you to know until they're ready for you to know. This person cannot be the best with like their communication. Again, they could have like some Capricorn placements or some Earth placements or even, they can even be like a, a water sign, but I'm getting like they aren't really acting on these feelings right now. Let's see what else we have going on here. The tower. Okay. 
Yeah, this person could, this person really sees you as like the end of their singlehood. Like that's crazy. Yeah, for some of you guys, I actually see that if you're dating this person and things are going well, they may want to commit to you guys soon. Like this person is thinking about marrying you guys. Like that is crazy. And if this person hasn't really made a move or if this person is just not confessing any of this, then they're definitely off in fantasy land. And I do feel like they do plan on taking action. There's just an energy of them slowing down their approach for a reason. Seven of Wands. Yeah, they could be a little defensive due to past experiences or again, toxic energies in their life they want to clear out. There's literally two cards about healing here. So maybe this could be someone from your past and there need to be some healing between the two of you or your connection has triggered them into doing inner work, which I think is most likely because I think a lot of you guys are my light workers, my healers. You're like super high vibrational and this person probably realized, damn, I got to clean my crap up before I come towards this person. And if there was any kind of fights or arguments, they want to heal it. And this person also, I'm feeling like they want to say that they're not even mad at you. Like they get it. Like if you guys cut this person off, they get why and they want to change and they want to grow. So that's good. Definitely some positive shifts here. If this is like a past energy, if it's a new person, then they definitely are coming at you. Maybe slower than some of you guys would want them to, but that could just be their style. Like, even though they feel so highly about you, it doesn't mean they're going to switch up the way they pursue. I think they've always been kind of a slow mover just because of like the way they want to operate in life. They could just be like that when it comes to making major decisions or when it comes to like people they really like because they don't want to just like fumble their chance with you or just come across in a way that they don't want to. Um, they don't want to come across in a way where like you think that they don't have a shot. They just want to have a shot. Sorry, guys. Long day. Um, yeah, this person wants to have a shot. The way I'm like kind of like losing my words. I feel like this person definitely gets nervous around you guys. So I wouldn't really overanalyze their actions because there's a side of this person where they don't always speak what they're truly thinking and feeling out of fear of saying or doing the wrong thing. They want to look like cool, calm, and collected. They want to look like the person that you can end up with. They don't want you to see them as someone who's like nervous or all over the place, but they could very well be nervous when it comes to you. I'm definitely picking up on that. Again, if you block this person or cut them out of your life, give them a huge tower moment. I feel like for some of you, you could have ended this connection abruptly or you could have got upset with this person because they were moving very slow. But I feel like you guys may be surprised to find out there was a reason why they were moving slow. They could have been like working on themselves behind the scenes because I feel like this person wants you to know that they didn't mean any maliciousness. Two of swords. I feel like this person really wants to fight for this connection. That's really what's coming up here. Yeah, I feel like this person, like being indecisive in the past, has to do with some external conflict more than it has to do with an internal conflict. But maybe an external conflict was causing this person to have internal conflict. Because I do see for some of you, like there was some opposition here when it came to this connection. But we see this King of Pentacles coming in. Like this person wants to be this King of Pentacles for you. Why two of swords though? Nine of cups. They definitely see you as their dream person. They're stalking you guys too, online for sure, or driving by your house for some of you. Now, nah, hopefully not, I'm kidding. But I feel like for some of you, they could have a little bit of a stalker tendency, um, but I don't wanna scare any of you guys. I don't feel like that's the case. But I feel again, it's more like a nostalgic, I have a crush on you type of vibe. Like if you guys live nearby, not like I'm peering through your windows type of creepiness. Um, we got judgment here. Yeah, so if a person's definitely going through an awakening due to this connection because of the fact that like, Meeting you has changed their life. It changed their perspective. You opened up their mind to many things. And some of you guys don't know this person well, but maybe it's the things that you post or do online that's making this person think this way about you. But they definitely like what you guys are about. Let's get one last message from my love notes, digital deck. I have a fake account to watch you. Guys, I cannot make this, this up. That is so funny. See, some of you guys block this person. They're watching you guys. You're getting reassurance that this person is watching you and planning their comeback or planning their approach. So that's what I'm picking up on. I feel like this is the energy of a, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when I'm coming in. This person's pretty helping on you guys. We're starting very strong, pile number one. Tell me the truth, yeah. I feel like this person just has trust issues too. So they could be kind of stalking your stuff to see if they could trust you. And I feel like if this person acts wonky, it's probably their own trust issues um, from the past. I thought I was broken. You were the first person to make me feel. Yeah, this could be a first love for some of you guys or a really strong healing connection. Cause somebody tells me this person is crazy about you. I question if you're over your ex. Yeah, some of you guys could be suspicious of this person, but I feel like they're suspicious over you because it all kind of roots back to them not really believing that someone of your caliber could even be interested in someone like them. So they definitely are working on like 
turning themselves into this king of pentacles maybe some of you guys really want that type of energy someone that can come in with like this like strong provider mindset or whatever it is that you guys like or loyalty too the person really looks for loyalty as well in their connections i want to say um but this person's deep down a hopeless romantic and they could hide that from the world because i do see a very practical personality with the king of swords there king of uh pentacles knight of pentacles but we do have a hopeless romantic deep down in this person they can have like venus water sign placements too um i'm definitely sensing some pisces in this person but they can even be an air sign because i feel like they're in their head a lot too ego death why did i do that yeah I feel like this person's fumbling this, but not on purpose, just out of nervousness or overthinking. I feel for some of you, this person just doesn't think that they're ready right now. So they're backing away. But I feel some of you could take that energy as like rejection or have in the past. And that's what kind of caused maybe some of this conflict that you guys have gone through. Plus this person does or did have people tell them that you were like too good for them. Or this person sees that you guys are clearly like out of their league, out of their dimension, I should say, because it's probably a spiritual thing as well, how strongly they feel about you. I don't know what you're on, but I'm down. Yeah, this person just rides for you guys. I feel like at the end of the day, like whatever you guys talk about, they're super fascinated by. Like if you want to go left, they're like, cool, I like going left too. And I feel like this person does need to kind of like grow up a little bit because there is a side of them that kind of like is a little, a little bit of a follower of you guys. Like they want to do whatever you do, you're doing basically. And I feel like this person is working on kind of becoming their own person. They could have a habit in the past of being a little bit of a follower too, because I feel like for some of you, you're such strong personalities or you're so yourself. They want to be more like you. But I do feel like this person's kind of growing up a little bit because of this connection. Whether you guys just met this person and it triggered them or they watch the things that you guys do or they, they listen very much to everything you guys talk about or what you want in a person and they're trying to be that. But I do feel like this person could have the habit of like losing themselves a little bit. So I feel like they're trying not to be like that. They're like, okay, am I just like making this up in my head or do I really have a shot here? Um, this person definitely does not want to be hurt by you because they also really love and respect you. So they don't want to like ruin that image of you that they have because they definitely see you as like ideal. Like they're so excited to even know someone like you exist in the world, basically. Can we done with the Libra? Seventh house. Yeah, this person definitely wants a partnership with you guys. That's crazy. Um, yeah, this person could be an Aries too. I feel for some of you, it's more like the quality they like in you. Like they feel like you're just so like badass, you know, or, or strong minded. This person definitely wants to balance out their life in this connection. They could be kind of setting goals. 27 could be significant. It could be, um, you know, an age or a date or two or seven. February, July could be significant too as well, this connection. Uh, this person has a lot of feelings for you, um, but you make this person motivated to be better. Yeah, this person definitely feels like they are part of your destiny with Mercury there. They're going to be communicating with you guys if you haven't heard from them already. And if you're dating this person, they definitely are taking you guys seriously. So some of you guys could be just like coming in for confirmation. So that's what I'm seeing for pile number one. I do hope you guys like that message. Bye guys. All right, pile number two, two, two. Let's hop right into the reading and find out what does this person on your mind truly think and feel about you? Pile number two, two, two. I feel like this person kind of feels like you're playing a little bit of hard to get with them. I was also hearing that song cooler than me. It's probably because you think you're cooler than me. Like this person thinks that there's a side of you that thinks that you're too good for them. And I think that you probably are. Even if this person has things going for them, they probably did something to make you guys say something to them that hurt their feelings. So you guys are just brutally honest or you have very high standards. I know I talked about like in my last reading, how do men view you guys to check it out last week there was the pile pile number two where that pile just had a really high standard and some people who just didn't fit that standard kind of didn't feel good enough for them i feel like that's kind of the energy two 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 just by you being yourself or having high standards being this queen of pentacles this person already feels like left out in the cold and obviously if you guys did tell this person they weren't good enough or you did call them out on some crap it definitely hurt their feelings but it's really weird i feel like pile two 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 this person actually wants like you to approve of them or they want your validation or they crave it so in a sense like you got this person kind of hooked on you because of your ability to kind of maintain your standards here i feel like at first this person tried to tell themselves they weren't interested or they tried to move away from this connection because they kind of felt like you were like too independent maybe they're used to like codependent people or something like that but i do feel like they're kind of having this awakening where they're realizing like you're the person that they want yeah, with the four of wands there, this person just definitely has a little bit of an immature side and you guys could definitely call them out on it. And if you don't, then this person could definitely feel or they've taken note of the fact that you're way more mature than them. So you guys can be older than this person. But for some of you, you just call this person out on their immaturity. And it could have really perplexed this person, especially if they're used to being the mature one 
Or for some of you, this person could be way older than you, but you kind of make them feel like a little child sometimes. And I think that's funny because they kind of like that. I do feel pile number 222, two, two. this person could be used to people enabling their bad behaviors and you don't do that. So they could have been kind of like put off by your strong personality or your standards or you just speaking your truth. But looking back at the situation now, they're kind of like, damn, I kind of needed that wake up call. So you gave this person a much needed wake up call. This person kind of feels like they're in love with you, but they are trying to fight that energy right now. I feel with the five of pentacles, four of pentacles, this person definitely feels like you left them behind, you left them out in the dust, or you're planning on doing it. But I feel for some of you, you could just be very reserved or very distant people. Because again, I just kind of feel like this person may be used to people like fawning over them or not being honest with them. But you're very honest with this person about things that they need to work on. Maybe you don't even realize you're like this. You could just be a little bit of that life coach energy. I know I could be like that too. Or for some of you, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Queen Alice Love. The reason why I bring it up is because like I like will post on my stories sometimes like things like standards for men, for instance, like a joke about like, I posted a joke about some guys, you know, like step it up and be funny and like take girls on dates or something like that. And I feel like if you guys post things like that, like someone could see like, oh man, like what if I was the one that didn't do it? I kind of, okay, what am I trying to say? I feel like if you guys post like, men should step it up. Like I don't want to come over at 10 p.m. This person thinking about all the times they invite you over at 10 p.m. They're thinking like, are they talking about me? Like I need to get it together. Like maybe you didn't directly call this person out, but they kind of feel like you call them out. So if you didn't directly do it, they could feel like they're posts your poster about them or something like that. That's what I'm kind of picking up on, if that makes sense. Um, I feel as though this person just feels like your high standards kind of like trigger them a little bit because they're like, I'm not that, or I'm not good enough, or you don't think I'm good enough. You think you're cooler than me, huh? But in all reality, you're just sticking to your guns and you're sticking to what you like. And it just challenges the part of this person that feels like they need to be better to be around you. And again, this person may act like they're cooler than you or the things that you do don't affect them. But this person's actually very affected by the things that you guys post and do and say and act like uh, one thing that you guys can post can, can really turn off their whole day. Like I feel like two, 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 this person is kind of weird because they they probably don't admit these things, but say like you guys like post out, for instance, like if they see like a guy in the corner, they're thinking like, Oh, that's probably someone that they're with. Like, I feel like this is that type of person. Like they will sit and brood and overthink like little things. I never should have gave this a shot. Like I'm just going to stay single. But in all reality, it's because they really like you that they even like micro observe every little thing you do. And if you don't have this person on social media and if you don't have social media, then they're obviously observing you like in the workplace or when you guys hang out. Like if you turn your head and look at a guy for a second, this person's probably like, oh, he's checking out that guy. I feel like this person or is a little insecure, a little immature. I think that's what that is. And I feel for some of you, you bring out the side of this person that they're not normally like this. So it kind of makes them look at themselves. Like maybe for some of you, they aren't really an insecure type, but because you're that girl or that guy, like with that standard, you make this person feel like they got to like work for it. Like this queen of pentacles is like, you want this coin, you better work, bitch. You know, that's kind of what I'm saying. Your energy haunts me. Yeah, you kind of creep this person out too. I feel like you guys have called this person out on something or you're just eerie to them because you're just so put together compared to them in their eyes. Let's see. Look, I'm nothing like the people you hate. I'm your soulmate. Something tells me that you guys talk to this person about the things that you don't like in others or you post or something like that because there's an energy here where this person is trying to prove to you that they're your soulmate, that they're good enough for you. But there's a part of them that's like, damn, I'm never going to be good enough. I'm never good enough for you. Like I'm definitely saying this person's feeling like nothing they do is good enough. And I know for some of you, like this person is just childish and you're like, yeah, I know what they mean, but like they really need to work harder. Like it's kind of crazy that they're even thinking that. But for some of you, like you may not realize this person is trying to impress you or they want to be better for you. And they feel like you don't notice the things that they do. Or in the past, if you guys ended or broken up, it really affected them that nothing they did was good enough for you. Cause I feel like this person thinks that they worked hard in this connection or they think that like they are, they thought at first that you'd be with somebody that they would, okay. I feel like Paul did too. This person kind of felt at first, they kind of got in the bag. Like they had the qualities of someone that you guys would want or date or hook up with or whatever. But over time, this person ended up feeling very rejected by you because they realized they weren't as put together as they thought. Like that's kind of what I'm seeing because this person could live in a reality where maybe a lot of people do think they're the prize. But in your reality, you're the prize. And this person had a reality check where they're like, whoa, I actually don't meet this person's standards. Like I can have a bunch of people like, fawning over me but you guys don't fawn over this person and it really bothers them you don't give them what you're not giving this person what they want 
what does this person want though because for some of you i really truly see someone with like some funky energy like it really isn't your fault but again like they have this air of like animosity towards you guys right now i kind of feel like and i think part of it is because they're mad that they're in love with you or they're mad that they caught feelings and they're mad that like it's not easy to keep you it's not easy to manipulate you it's not easy to get what they want out of you they got to take a risk they got to put in work at the fool here the eight of cups yeah this person feels as though like it may be easier to walk away from this but at the end of the day i don't think they're gonna do that because a little bit of their ego is wrapped up in this yeah i feel like this person wants to fight with you guys why maybe some of you guys know why you know they just feel like you're doing better than them in life and it makes them really insecure or you know more than them or they're mad about something you said to them. You hurt their feelings. For some of you, you just open up this person's mind or send them through an awakening where they couldn't go backwards to the way they were thinking. I do feel like you guys call this person out on something. And for some of you, like a truth about their life that's hard for them to accept. So they're mad at you for something that like isn't really your fault. Like maybe you guys call this person out on something or you made them aware of something that needs changing in their life. And... They're kind of taking that out on you because you're right about it and they don't want to acknowledge that. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this person kind of invested energy into thinking that you and them had some sort of future together, but something happened where they kind of feel like you lost respect for them or you're not interested in them anymore or you're not good, they're not good enough for you. But this person wants to walk away, but they have a lot of feelings for you, I feel. Or for some of you, again, like if this is a newer person, th their ego is kind of wrapped up in winning you over. Or if you got, okay, I feel like for some of you, you rejected this person in one way or another and they're still hell bent on winning you over. But for some of you, it may not be genuine because it's a little bit of like, oh, you think you're too cool for me? I'll show you, you know, I'm going to win you over. But like they want to prove to themselves that they can get you or keep you or something like that. Let's see. Yeah, because your energy is haunting this person. Something you said or did definitely haunts this person. The Empress in reverse. Yeah. For some of you, it's just straight up like they expect the wifey husband package for like, you know, the when they're not acting in the right ways. Like this person expects you to act like so excited. Like I feel like this person got a little bit of a gassed ego. Like they think that you should be giving more to them. But I don't believe that at all because they're coming up as the Page of Cups. And you know what I mean? You're coming up as Queen of Pentacles. So it's like, what? And the Empress in Reverse, I feel like for some of you, like, they want you to be, like, even mothering towards them. But you're not doing that. This person, I think, just got issues and they're taking it out on you guys for sure. <laughs> That's funny. Something you said came true, so I'm scared of you. What did I say? A little bit of fear here, too. I really think you guys call this person out on something and it's, like, freaking them out. I feel for most of you, it's just more of the energy of like you guys calling them out on something and immaturity, something they're doing wrong. You saw right through them and they're kind of pissed off because for some of you, this is kind of like a player-esque person that you just called out. Yeah, let's see what else. Some of you guys, you blew up this person's spot or you just called them out on something that they didn't even realize they were doing wrong and it made them feel like a little baby child. Yeah, I'm nervous to see how soft I am. Yeah, it's something for this person trying to prove to you that maybe they're tough, that they're a man, that they're, that they're a woman or whatever, right? Like, they're trying to prove to you that they're mature, but it's clear that they're not in one way or another. And for whatever reason, it's like this person wants to prove something to you. That they're not like the people that you guys don't like. But they could be like those people. Yeah, I feel like this person's having an ego death of some kind, okay? But they're fighting it. <laughs> they need to have some sort of ego death. You are out of this world. Yeah, this person really thinks you're cool, though. Like, they kind of hate that you're cooler than them, too. Like, you're just like a cool cucumber in their eyes. I want to marry you. The more they talk about you, the more I want you. And I'm jealous. Yeah. For some of you guys, it's more the fact that, like, like I said, they get really triggered by the little things that you do. And because they're not used to these type of feelings, or they're not used to feeling like... They, they're used to feeling like they got in the bag a little bit, but they don't feel that way about you. Like, for some of you guys, this person's just very good at getting people, like, codependent on them. But you guys are not codependent, so you're not acting the ways other people do. And it could really just trigger them. They need to grow up a little bit. Um, yeah, and I feel like, Pile 2 2 that a lot of people around this person also think that you're really cool and respect you too as well. This person also, uh, for some of you guys, like, it could be the opposite. They're just around some toxic influences. 
but I feel like there's a lot of people around this person talking about you for whatever reasons. Some of you guys, you have mutual friends or you work in a similar environment, which makes sense. But yeah, deep down, this person wants to be with you, but they're just mad about how insecure you make them and how hard they have to work to have you. So again, this is where they're at right now. For some of you guys, you cut this person off, they need to grow up, you set your standards. Um, let's see what they're gonna do next here. Four of Swords, yeah, I feel like right now this person could be in a little bit of a bitter energy because I do sense they're kind of blocking you out right now because they're kind of mad about something. Obviously their feelings are hurt, which we see here. So maybe you're just like living your life offends this person. So you guys kind of know your situation here. But deep down, they have to admit they got some feelings for you. But I feel like you guys are also not really fawning over this person. Or some of you guys haven't really told this person how you feel. Or some of you guys don't have feelings for this person the way they do for you. And they can tell that and it bothers them. For some of you guys, this person has somebody else that like likes them. But you don't act the same way as this person. Or in the past, like, their relationships went a certain way, but it's not going that way with you. You're very different than anybody they've ever met. And it kind of just trips them out. I do feel like other people like this person or another person likes this person, but this person likes you. And they could also be mad at this person that's in their life right now that's doing what they want them to do, that they're not you or something like that. It's very weird. For some of you guys that know about a third party or something like that, I could see this person, like, rebounding or like just entertaining people just to pass the time but they're mad that that person isn't you so yeah i feel like this person needs to kind of grow up a little bit because i don't think they're gonna go very far with the way they're acting okay we got a king of cups there so let's see what that's about king of pentacles yeah there's something about a group activity going on here because there's like two kings here there's definitely conversations going on about you you guys should definitely tech check out my collective channel because I've been channeling in about like certain conversations that are being had about like whoever comes to that channel. It's my third channel. I'll leave the links below. The Two of Cups. What is this person on about? This person could just be mad that other people like you if there's competition. I often think about the last time I saw you. Yeah, this person could have just like messed up their connection with you and had an argument with you, but they're just mad that like things are not going the way they wanted them to. Look, you saw right through me. I'm telling you guys, you guys call this person out on stuff. You could do it accidentally or playfully, but they've never met anyone that can do that. You see right through this person. I feel like this person is very good at putting up a facade, but it doesn't work with you. You guys just like see right through this person and they thought they were like putting up a good mask, but obviously not because you guys can see so clearly, obviously what's wrong with this person or what they need to work on. They thought they were like putting up a good facade that like maybe they're doing well in life or they're mature, but like you guys actually pinpointed in this person what they truly feel about themselves. Crazy. Yeah, you saw right through me. I played it off, but you're too smart for me. That's so crazy. Yeah, this person also like sees that you got options. Yeah, I do feel for this pile, this person is a little bit jealous of you because they just feel deep down that you're better than them. So I do feel either A, this person has a little bit of growing up to do and maybe they'll go through a transformation. But for some of you, you may just find that these qualities could be quite irking because I really feel like you are the type of person that doesn't really mind. Like they could be a little behind in one way or another, but you're like, let's work together. But this person tends to like try to work against you. It could even be a friendship situation too, where like this person like felt like you're just doing so much better than them that they started to like not hang out with you as much. Like it's kind of like that, like a pettiness. And I do feel like this person can also be jealous of you and jealous of your options or jealous of how smart you are or how respected you are because deep down this person just feels like you're better than them or a better person than them. And for some of you, this person is just very jealous um, in general. And they just feel like you're not committing to them. But I do feel for a lot of you, either edit things with this person, call this person out on something, or clearly you're seeing or dating or having more than one option because it's just something that really triggers this person, even though they may also be the same way. They just haven't really met anybody that gave them a run for the money before. I had a plan for us. So you're not following the rules. Yeah, this person could have like deep-seated control issues that get triggered by you guys because something tells me you guys are the bosses of your life. Ain't nobody going to tell you guys what to do. 
penthouse. Yeah. This person could be kind of jealous of your successes. Some of you guys is a workplace connection. Can we do with a Gemini? I feel like with the eighth house there, it could be doing a Scorpio Taurus. This person could be going through a transformation that maybe they're gonna like level up. Yeah, this person is blocking out their feelings right now because they're mad at you. And I feel like, you know, this just could just be a temporary thing. But for some of you, it just happens way too often and you're just getting tired of it. Like this person's always kind of getting ag agitated or has an attitude or doesn't ever want to see eye to eye or always wants to argue. Yeah, I feel like you're getting advice. You could be dealing with someone Aries placements. Um, you're getting advice to just like put yourself first right now because I feel like you're not meant, like, I feel like you were meant to put this person in their place and just like see if they can like grow up a little bit. Let's see. The moon, the five of cups. And if it's an ex, they're actually mad that you look better or you're more successful or happier without them. Definitely big salty energy coming in here, two, two, two. But again, it's all rooted from the fact that this person just thinks that you think that you're too good for them. But really what's happening here is that deep down, they know they couldn't afford to keep someone like you happy. There's a hater around me. Okay, for some of you guys, like this person just has somebody in their ear. And that's why like they've kind of turned on you a little bit. Yeah. For some of you guys, I do feel like this person could grow, but they could have an energy that is working against this. And that could really be an issue here. Yeah, that's crazy. Cause it's like, this person sounds like a hater, but maybe it is influenced by somebody else. Yeah. Person could be an air sign or have an air sign around them. Yeah, because deep down, this person wants this to work and they want to be happy in this connection. But it's like the Five of Swords. Again, two, two, two. I do get the impression of somebody who may be following the advice of somebody immature. Because like, this is kind of giving me like a little bit like negging or trying to bring you down a notch or ignoring your text to make you feel insecure. Like instead of just like being mature in this connection, they're trying to resort to like negative toxic behaviors to get your attention. And that's just not going to work or it didn't work. And you cut this person off. And if you guys did cut this person off, I, I feel like there's an energy of like, you better come correct or don't come back at all. This person kind of feels like you will rip them a new A if they don't come at you the right way now. Yeah. Yeah, also, two, 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 the one thing I really want to say about this person is they're not really happy where they're at in the workplace. And they kind of just feel like you're more successful than them right now. And I feel like that's actually what's really triggering them too. Um, but I feel like at the end of the day, like you guys probably don't really care about that if you're interested in, interested in this person. But maybe you give them advice on how to better themselves and they take it as like, a, oh, like you think you're better than me. But it's really just an immaturity. But it does come from the fact that this person wants you to see them in a higher light than they actually are. And if they want to be seen in a highlight, they should just grow up. But instead, like they're resorting to negative toxic ways to prove to you that they're not the way that you think that they are. And they could actually be a good person. You could have a misinterpretation of them too. But something tells me they're not doing much to prove you wrong here. Um, let's see. Look, I honestly love the way you put everyone in their place. Okay, so they like the way that you are too. And like I said, this person deep down likes you guys and likes that you put them in their place. But again, they're just dealing, probably struggling with a little bit of immaturity and you're triggering this person to like go through an awakening and grow up and kind of face things about themselves they don't like. Um, so I kind of want to know if like, is it going to get better here or what? We got the hermit. This person could be in a hermit mode too right now. The devil. Yeah, this person's dealing with something toxic and I feel like you guys are triggering this person to make changes in their life and they could kind of be taking it out on you and there's someone else around them that's actually being the root of their problems. And I feel like it sometimes happens too, not even on purpose. Even for me, like I could be like very in tune, but sometimes I don't know where the energy's coming from. And I may take it out on like a family member when I'm in a bad mood and think it's like them, like your energy's off, but really it's mine. Like, you know, it's a happy sometimes, right? To the best of us. Like I feel like this person could kind of be like that. Like they could be very moody and sensitive, like with that page of cups there. And they're taking it out on you. But in reality, it's like somebody else in their life or something else in their life. Cause I am something like you guys are causing this person to elevate. And so they're becoming more aware of energy around them and what needs to change and grow. But it's like, you're the common denominator that came into their life and now they started acting like this. But in reality, you're bringing like insight and wisdom to this person's life. And it just agitates them that they're not as grown or mature or they have a long way to go still. 
to even kind of be seen as someone on your level, which is crazy because some of you guys, they will not tell you this. And some of you guys, it's really triggering for them because they're much older than you. And they kind of feel like, damn, like this person kind of put me in their place. But they like that about you too. So we got a very confused person here. You could have also put someone else in their place in front of this person, which they like. They probably prefer you put other people in their place over them because they kind of want to like to cheer you on on that. They love that energy, but it ain't so fun when it's, when it's like you putting them in their place. Like they're like, okay, yeah, that wasn't funny. You know, I didn't like that. That didn't feel good. Um, yeah. Cause like this person, it could be like a friend too. I'm, I am sending to you guys it's a friendship situation, right? But I feel like they deep down look up to you. So it's like, if you're putting them in their place now, it's like they've fallen from your grace. Like they actually deep down want your approval and want your validation, but they're not getting that. But I feel like they would get it if they do the right things. I don't feel like you guys are just trying to be like a jerk to this person. They need to grow up or they need to act right or they need to meet your standards. Like if you want something from this person and they're not doing it, they need to do it or get lost. Yeah, this person needs to walk away from a toxic influence or a mindset. Um, two, two, two. That's really what I see here. And until they do that, they're just kind of being this wonky energy. So I do think the suggestion is just to like keep focusing on yourself, keep putting this person in their place if you can't get rid of them. But if you guys already did, then I do sense this person is just being called to like acknowledge what truly is the root of the issue, especially if it's like an ex or something. There's something about this person kind of taking it out on you, like how miserable they are with their life. But in all reality, they need to make changes because if you're the one who was like doing better in life than them, they should take your advice. But why are they like, they're just mad that like they need your advice in the first place because they wanted to be like seen as like your level, but they're not. So yeah, this person definitely feels like a little baby page compared to your highness. <laughs> yeah, eight of swords. This per yeah, if you guys block this person, that really hurt their feelings too. But I feel like you guys gave this person warning like, you definitely just put this person in their place. And I feel like there's an energy of deep down knowing that you guys are right. This person's low-key obsessed with you guys. And they may try to come back before they're ready. That's kind of the warning here. And I do feel like if it's an ex or past fling, they do want to find their way back into your life too as well. If that's not something you want, then, you know, watch out for that. It is Mercury retrograde. My readings are timeless. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. Yeah, this person just like, sees that you're like thriving in life making new friends growing and deep down they're kind of salty that you really don't need them but i feel true too too they actually could bring themselves to be someone of value in their life if they work on it but right now i feel like a lot of you guys are just not really seeing the value of this person and they want to prove to you that they are valuable then then prove it then because i just see a lot of immaturity and inconsistency it's like grow up yeah and i do feel like a lot of people around this person talk about you guys and I feel like someone around this person is super jealous of you or this connection to as well toxicity yeah Let's see. yeah Capricorn energy too I feel like you guys are triggering this person into realizing that they need to take their power back I feel like this person is letting people push them around and I feel like this person is a little bit of a you know a coward and yeah that's i really feel like this person deep down admires your strength and your ballsiness and they want to be like you yeah i feel like that's what's coming in here so yeah you got someone who secretly wants to be like you i feel like you guys are just very like free like you you express yourself more freely than this person does this person has a lot of issues revolving around intimacy pile number 222 so again i just see someone right now in a cold energy and a hermit energy and until they really like sort out their stuff in their life, they really are not going to be any value to you because I do sense they are the type to kind of take out their crap on you. So if you guys did tell them what it is and tell them to figure it out, I'd say stay away till they do. And if they come back with a better energy, great. If not, no problem. This person's in a very much hermit free will energy right now. So that's what I'm seeing from the 222. I do hope you guys like that message. Bye. Okay, pile number 333. Let's hop right into it. This pile has a little bit less cards because... From the jump, I pulled a couple cards and I was ready to get any messages, so I didn't want to miss out on them. I definitely feel for this person, they didn't really mean to catch feelings for you. And I don't mean it in an offensive way, but there's definitely a vibe where maybe these feelings kind of inconvenience them. Yeah, I feel like 3 maybe they are committed to something else, someone else, or they're in a workaholic mode right now. But there's something about this person not wanting to fall in love with you or not wanting to catch feelings, but they did. Yeah, I feel as though this person definitely feels like you are 
pretty amazing. Like they feel like a lot of people live in your shadow. But there's something about this person kind of wishing they didn't catch feelings for you because it was a very life-changing experience for them. Or I feel like this person has to make a lot of changes to be in your life because they do want to be like a good person to you. But right now they can't. Like that's what I'm picking up on. And it's crazy. I'm getting all this energy from these few cards. Yeah, we got, I don't want to hurt you, but I know that I do. I stay away to protect you. So yeah, through the three, you could be asking about somebody that you know there's a connection there, but they're staying away from you. They ghosted you. They're acting weird. They're acting strange. But the one thing I really want to say about this is that this person doesn't want to hurt you. They also didn't intend to catch feelings for you. So they very much could have had a situation going on that they're trying to keep away from you. It doesn't have to be like, oh, third party. But for some of you guys, maybe they are in a commitment. Maybe they are involved in something legal or toxic and they don't want you to see that. For some of you guys, this person just doesn't feel like they're at the financial level or they're in the energy they should be to date. But I do feel like this person just stays away from you because they know there's a part of them that can't be what you need right now. Yeah. People told me you were too good for me. Is it true? Yeah. I feel like three, three, three. If this isn't anything that actively happened like for real, for real, I do feel that it could be just the energy of this person never thought they can score someone like you. So like upon meeting you, they just kind of rolled with it and shot the shot, but they didn't actually think that they would make it this far. So this person's like, crap, like I didn't plan this far ahead. What do I do now? I'm not actually ready for this. Like I still got to end things with like my girlfriend back home or something like that. I don't know. I'm kind of sensing like some third party stuff. But like, it's kind of sad because your energy coming in is like telling this person that whatever they were in in the past just wasn't it because you guys came in here and they're like, whoa, like this is, th uh, this feels right, you know, but they also know that it's wrong. So there's definitely something going on here that maybe this person's not admitting to you. Uh, let's see what else we have going on here. Yeah, we got for the right reasons. So I feel like this person could be staying away from you guys for the right reasons. By the way, with this deck, I do have a discount code so you guys can look below. Also, this is my new digital deck over here. Check it out, guys, if you wanna get your Alice love notes in your own home. Let's see what else we have going on here. The limo. Yeah, this person wants to like be your knight in shining armor. They're like, but I can't right now. So, okay. Whether it's financial issues, legal issues, or <laughs> they're busy being someone else's and they're like, well, oh crap, I gotta turn this chariot around, you know? <laughs> I feel like this person definitely wants to have you like you're their first choice so if they're not choosing you there must be a, a clear-cut reason why um you know we can look into it yeah this person wants to run towards you but they literally just can't right now yeah i really feel like this person was like not intending on falling in love like they maybe thought you and them would have a friendship vibe or they're in the energy or, or you guys could have met this person out or you could have met this person like at work or through a circumstance where like they're only just looking to make friends because they really couldn't offer anything more. And I feel like this person ended up catching feelings for you and they really didn't want to because I do feel like this person actually thought that you would reject them or that they didn't have a shot with you. So they never thought about you that way or didn't plan on catching feelings. But then they did, they're like, crap, because I really feel like this person did not think they had a shot with you. But now that they feel like they do, that kind of changes things. They're like, maybe I can make this work. Hold up. Yeah, because the two, uh, yeah, the date night, this person wants to ask you out on a date. Like they, they either don't have money right now or they just can't. <laughs> Sorry guys, I had a little bit of a sneeze, but yeah, I definitely feel like this person could be also dealing with health problems or just other things in their life. It doesn't have to be like, that toxic, but I do feel that they have to, for a lot of you, I do feel reject someone else to come towards you. Because you coming into the picture or coming back into the picture for somebody who's the next, or are you or, or them realizing they still have a shot with you changes things. Because there was a point in this person's life, if this is an ex or past fling or friend or whatever, that they really just thought you friend zoned them. Like they really just thought like there really wasn't gonna be anything there. But now that they can see that, like, or they figured out that they actually have a shot with you, they're like, wait, well, I guess I, I could just kind of, like, turn things around. Look, we got the lovers there. This person definitely is falling in love with you guys or fell in love with you guys. But, again, they kind of didn't think they had a real shot at first. This person definitely may think that you're way out of their league. Yeah, I do feel like this person could be hiding something from you. But shoulder to cry on. Yeah, for some of you guys, 333, three, three, like, it just, this just happened, right? This could be a connection where 
you and this person started off as friends or you just met and you guys just started talking and you were there for them and you and then you were like healing them and before they knew it they caught feelings like something happened here where they're like i didn't mean to fall in love with this person i just caught feelings and now they want to be like your knight in shining armor or something like that but right now i don't know what's going on here yeah this person like mm -mm. <laughs> i don't know i don't know why but i do feel like someone is gonna end up hurt here by this person wanting to be with you because i do feel for some of you that like now that they realize that they got a shot with you guys that means that like they need to get rid of like something else in their life let's see what else we have here yeah you're so frustrating to me i can't read you at all yeah i feel like this person also doesn't really know if they have a real shot too yeah it's kind of like they, 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 it's weird like maybe this person does have a situation going on, but they know that like, if they pursue this with you, it can risk the other situation. So they're not sure if it's worth the risk because they still kind of question if you're actually interested. Or for some of you, they know that you wouldn't be interested if you found that out. So they're trying to clear house here and come back to you. So they about this person having something going on that they need to clear up. They feel they need to clear up before they can come towards you. The only reason why they came towards you initially is because maybe they just were so attracted to you or your healing energy, or they didn't really think they had a chance, or they thought it'd be like a one night thing for some of you. But now they're like, no, I, I definitely caught feelings here. Look, God brought me to you. Wow. So yeah, this person definitely views you very highly. They feel like the universe brought you to them and they're like, this changes things. I think you coming into their life is a game changer. Maybe I'm stupid. I think we'll end up together. This is crazy because I do feel for some of you. Yikes, but this could be an ex that like ended up, you know, rebounding other situation, but you're seeing signs about them because there's a side of them that deep down does feel like they're still in love with you. And right now they got to like, you know, work on themselves and come back. But deep down, you're the person they want to end up with. Yeah, and I do feel for some of you today, they could have ended this connection in the past where you guys ended this connection because they knew that they weren't being good to you and they wanted to come back in the future, which doesn't really sound right, but I guess it makes sense if this person really did feel like there was just too much going on at the time and they couldn't save you or help you, like they needed to free you. Like I feel like this person is trying to free you because they feel like it's the best choice, but they really don't want to. I feel like Miss USA is second place. I really feel like there's just someone else in this person's life that they feel is second to you. And they're realizing that whether it's past or present or future doesn't really matter. This person really sees that you, you've gone through a transformation. Person thinks you're glowing up. They think you look really good. And again, this honestly, three, 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 I'm not going to lie to you, but this person could be going through a glow up or went through a glow up where like they ended up scoring someone like you and they just never thought that was possible because they could have had low self-esteem in the past. So again, I'm, I'm sensing for some of you guys, like they could have gotten into a relationship or connection when like they were down pretty bad and they picked that person because they thought that person was on their level. But then like you kind of came in and then they're like, oh, I can actually get someone like this. I'm not saying it's a good thing, guys, but this is just what I'm seeing. Something about this person going through a glow up that really made them. And for some of you, this is more like an ex where like they think you've glowed up so much and they don't, they're not sure they have a, like they want to be with you, but they think that you're too out of their league now. So that can also resonate too as well for some of you guys that like can see an ex is clearly another connection and like moved on and like it hasn't really came back. It could also be a sign that like the opposite energy, like they just kind of feel like maybe you will end up together one day, but their self-esteem is too low right now. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is more the energy where this person deep down will choose you every day of the week, but there's just some reason why they can't be with you right now or come towards you. But yeah, this person definitely like feels like you went through a glow up, but they could have had a, also had a glow up in their life where they're not realizing or just self-esteem issues in the past. They're not realizing that like you and them are on the same league here, you know, because this person's coming as King of Pentacles. So they could have a lot of things going for them. And I feel like this person did choose a partner in the past out of insecurity. They're realizing that that wasn't the right choice because like you're someone this person would say as like, you're somebody this person would be like okay this person could probably say you're like their dream girl a dream guy so it's like people don't really think they're going to end up with that type of person so when they actually got it they could have sabotaged this too like it didn't have to be like oh third party interference you know but i feel like for some of you if they messed up it had more to do with the fact that like they just never really felt like they were good enough for you but i do feel for a lot of you again a lot of you like yeah this person was tied up in the past with this connect with something else or somebody else and Honestly, if this person knew that you and them would work out 110%, they probably would 
leave whatever else they have going on here. And some of you could be third party interference, could be like other things, like a work situation that you guys don't approve of or a criminal record. They could have just things going on that they feel like you're not going to approve of and that could be it. But if they knew that you would, then they would come towards you. There's something about this person kind of hiding from you guys right now or hiding something from you. But they feel like they're doing it to protect you or protect this connection that they can come back to it in the future when they resolve these things. So the biggest energy here is that this person definitely plans on coming back to you. They feel like God in like God planned this union that you are their soulmate. And that's kind of crazy because yeah, they definitely feel like you're out of their league and they're you're their dream person. But at the same time, they have this like inner knowing that you're gonna end up together. So that's the part of them that feels like maybe I am on this, like maybe I do deserve this. This person is definitely dealing with self-worth issues and they made a lot of choices based upon that self-worth issue. So you kind of coming in was a game changer this person. Some of you guys can really hype this person up and make them feel like, you know, they got things going for them. But I feel like this person's going through a transformation with their sense of self. Yeah, you can be done with the Libra and Aries. We got Taurus there as well. You can be done with Aquarius too. You can be done with the Leo. You inspired this person as well. You can be done with Scorpio or Capricorn. This person's going through a transformation. Aries again, ninth house. You, yeah, this person really likes how spiritual you are. You could definitely have said this person through an awakening. I can't stop thinking about you. This person's definitely manifesting you on accident. I wasn't trying to hurt you. I just didn't know what to do. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys, you could have caught this person acting in a way that was toxic. And if you did, they definitely regret it. Regret sabotaging this. For some of you, it really is the energy where they just never thought they were good enough for you and they were trying to hurt you before you hurt them. Or they thought you were going to leave them. Just sabotaging. Do you like me? Sometimes you eye me up and down. And sometimes it's like you can't see me. Yeah, some, this person's just insecure. And sometimes they can read the things you do as disinterest. Even if you guys were with this person and said, I want to be with you. They will see like, oh, you didn't text me today. You don't like me. Like this person definitely needs to work on self-worth. Yeah, this person definitely played their cards wrong too at certain points. This person feels as though they're torn up about this connection or situation, but you're not as torn up if this connection ended. If it's a new connection, then it's tearing this person up that like they can't have you the way they want you right now. But yeah, you're, you're this person's dream person. They definitely cried over you too. Just I feel like for some of you, this person could be involved in things. Could be another connection. I don't want to call them out on it, but or just a toxic thing. And they feel like, yeah, that could already ruin their shot. Like for some of you, like you met this person and they had to tell you like, I'm in a situation, but they're in love with you, you know, but maybe they're stuck in something. But I feel like this person cried over the fact that they already kind of lost their shot with you or they feel like they might've lost their shot with you. But I feel like in time, this person is still going to feel very drawn to you and they're going to come back to you when they get their self-esteem up. Something tells me that this person's self-esteem is just very low right now because it's kind of a weird energy, you know? Yeah, I got the devil there. I do feel like there could be something going on in this person's life that needs releasing. Could just be energetic. Could be a third party again. Uh, it could be anything, a job, a situation. Yeah, this person needs to make a choice here. And I think they're realizing that you are their choice here. So they're choosing you. And I feel like for a lot of you, it's just for the chance to even be your friend or for the chance to even be in your life or even have a chance to date you. They kind of know they have to leave something behind, but it doesn't guarantee they're going to be with you. It just guarantees that they can have you in their life. So I do feel like maybe there is somebody telling this person, like, don't be around pile number three person. And if you do, I'm going to leave you. So now, like, them coming towards you means that somebody else is going to leave their life or something. Yeah, it could it could be something like that. I do sense they are trying to protect you from the situation and clean it up so that you don't get involved in it. So I really think they do mean well, despite this mess. And this person is just nervous that they can't be what you need. Other people are jealous of you and want you. That's what first drew me to. Yeah, this person definitely feels as though, like, how the hell did I get so lucky? Like they feel like they got lucky that they're so shocked you even like them. Maybe we can see the world together. Yeah, I feel like this person does have dreams, big goals and dreams that they haven't really gone after yet that they allowed other people to hold them back on. And they're realizing that you're more like their dream person than anybody else. So I do feel that again, like they're, they're gonna try to come towards you the King of Cups there. And I do feel for some of you, they're friend zoning you right now until they clear up some crap, which they may not tell you because I feel like if you knew about this crap, you wouldn't like them anymore. But I definitely sense either friend zoning or, or leaving it alone right now. 
uh, because we got the devil here. Yeah, this person just caught up in something that they feel like you're not going to approve of. We got the empress there. Yeah, but they definitely see you as ideal. But they feel like they have to do something big and life-changing to have a shot with you. And I feel like they will. But it will take some time. But for now, I do see this person kind of like maybe teetering your friend zone. Is this person going to hit you up with the devil? Yeah, right now, there's just a sign that this person's just like caught up in something. They definitely need to go through some sort of transformation um, in their life and release something. Can we deal with the water sign? But I do feel like this person uh, does feel a strong connection to you. And I do feel like just deep down, this person didn't really plan to be with you or date you because they just didn't really think they had a shot. So once they kind of found out they did, that was very life-changing for them. But they could have planned their life around things that have nothing to do with you or with another person. So now that you're here, they're like, crap. Uh, yeah, or again, you guys could just brought awareness to this person's life and made them realize they have a lot of work to do on themselves. Like you could have watched Last Pile. But yeah, I feel like this person is going to come back into your life when they feel like they're ready to make these changes because there's just something this person has to do to like have a shot with you basically is what they feel. So I do hope you guys like that message. Bye guys. All right, pile number 444. Let's hop right into the reading and find out what does the person on your mind really think and feel about you? Okay, pile number 444. I feel as though this person feels like you and them are very similar and that's why they like you. This person has definitely chose you over a lot of people or someone in particular and that could have caused a lot of jealousy. You may not know this or you may be aware. In the last pile, I kind of picked up on like a third party energy. This pile can come after that pile because I kind of sense that if you did pick the pile before, then this person definitely is making the choice to choose you and get rid of whatever else is in the way here. And that could be causing some evil eye to come in your direction, especially if you know that person or they know of you. I definitely sense in general, this person is super excited about meeting you. They really like you. And it did cause jealousy from the jump because people around this person can tell that this person really view you in a high light and they're not usually like this. The reason why this person likes you is because they may actually be psychic. I do have this channel of message here from my love notes. You guys can download this deck as well. Leave the links below. I'm psychic too, but you didn't see that coming. So I feel like this person may actually feel like you're their soulmate. They may actually believe in that. I feel like this person does feel a spiritual connection to you. Even if they haven't articulated that, they feel very sure about you or very sure that they're the best choice for you. I feel for some of you, maybe this person knew somebody that was interested in you also, but they feel like you should choose them. And I do feel like this person is kind of willing to cross a line to come towards you if they need to, because they're very sure about this. Yeah, the energy in the last pile was like that person would do that too, but they weren't so sure that that person liked them back. But I feel like for this pile, this person's sure about you guys or sure that you guys have a special connection or they're sure that they want you in their life and they're willing to do that. So I feel if you chose both piles and this could kind of be the energy where they made up their mind, they're just going to go for it. I definitely sense that this person feels as though there's a lot of competition, but there's a side of them that just truly believes that you and them are meant to be. And the reason why they think that is because they feel they think very similar to you, you guys view the world in a similar way. <clears throat> Yeah, I just got kind of choked up. So this person kind of like gets emotional about you guys. I feel like this person could be very gifted and psychic. And so when they met you, they kind of felt like you're the person that's going to get them. Yeah, this person may not tell you this, but they feel like they share similar gifts to you guys. Maybe some of you guys do post about being psychic or having gifts or something like that. Because there's an energy here where this person just feels as though they can get you. They understand you and other people around them don't get them. They feel as though maybe you guys have chosen in the past someone who didn't get you and they want to be the person who gets you. This person feels like you get them, they get you, you guys are kind of on the same wavelength and that's what they really like about you. I do feel that this person wants to fight for this connection, especially with the hair up in there. And they feel like they're kind of being called to fight for this connection or even defend you guys if it calls for. Like this person kind of feels called towards you guys. So I'd be very surprised if this feeling isn't mutual because I feel, you know, with this twin flame energy down here, I don't really believe in a twin flame concept, but I do believe that you and this person could be like having some sort of soul contract because I do believe it's kind of mutual and you're both kind of acknowledge this. And if you didn't, it's some, some kind of unspoken bond that you and this person have, but they actually do feel called to be in your life and they do feel called to even help you out and if they haven't done that then they're definitely going to do it in the future but i do feel this person feels called to look after you 
or defend you even. So it could definitely be this person being very spiritual and seeing that if it's not that they want to be with you, it's that they want to protect you or help you because they feel like you and them are very similar. For some of you guys, it's just a friendship, which that makes sense. But for some of you, it's more like this person wants to be with you, defend you, be your person. But I feel like either way, this person doesn't really mind how this relationship goes because they do feel deep down that any time they spend with you is really great and really rewarding. And I do feel that this person is very actively discussing with people how highly they view you. And that can actually cause some gossip or jealousy because I feel that this person is pretty special in a lot of other people's eyes. You guys may not view this person that way, but they actually have a lot of people who want them around. Like this person may have a, like a healer or a light worker energy because I do sense there's a lot of people that want this person's time and energy, but they're choosing to spend it with you. Maybe you guys don't really realize that. And if you don't spend time with this person, they spend a lot of time and energy thinking about you or talking about you or being focused on you. And they're not really focused on other people. And I do feel like someone else could have noticed that. It says down here, your friend wants me, but I want you. For some of you guys, this person chose you over your friend and maybe that caused conflict. You may not have known this, but maybe somebody you guys know likes this person, but they like you. Or somebody that they know likes you, but they want you. Because I feel like there's some kind of energy where people are very jealous of this because they want this person. I feel for some of you, you may not even see this person in that high of a light, but there's a lot of people that want this person, but this person wants you. That's the big energy here that I'm picking up on. This person feels like you're special and they're special in like the same way. And I do feel like it has to do with having spiritual gifts or psychic gifts. So if you guys are posting about that, they definitely resonate with the things that you guys post and do and say. For a lot of you guys, you're just very open about your spirituality and what you believe and how you feel or how you see the world or being an empath. And this person's like, cool, me too. Like, they really do feel that way. And some of you guys may feel as though this person is nothing like you, but this person feels like they're just like you. So they could be crazy, you know, but I feel for some of you, you know what I'm talking about. This is very mutual. I get the sense that there is definitely a mutual connection here, a past life connection even. And yeah, this person actually has a lot of wisdom to them. I feel for some of you, you could be selling this person short if you don't think so, because... With the Page of Swords there, I feel like this person does not reveal all of what they're thinking and feeling. I'm feeling like for some of you guys, this person could be like a silent type or a strong silent type too. I heard you were talking blank about me. I deserve it, but it still hurts. Yeah, I feel for some of you, this person's kind of hurt because they feel as though you misjudged them. Or if things didn't go right between you guys, they feel like maybe they deserved it. Maybe they did do something wrong. Yeah, let's see what else. I know you're right. Yeah, I do feel like you and this person have an excellent connection. So if things went south, maybe one of your friends interfered with this connection because they were jealous of it. Maybe you guys don't know that, but maybe something happened here. I'm not sure. Or one of their friends, something happened where this person's like not proud of. But I feel like deep down, this person's really upset about it because they feel like you and them are very similar. So if they didn't protect you the way they needed to, they really regret that because they kind of feel like that's part of their purpose to protect you, to help you, to heal you. Yeah, for some of you, they feel like they were meant to protect you from your friend, but maybe you chose your friend, your friend's opinion over them or something like that. Like this person may feel as though your friend was trying to lead you away from them because your friend wanted them secretly. Like that's how they feel. It may or may not be true. For some of you guys, this person can be delusional, but for some of you, you're like, yeah, I kind of sense that too. But for some of you, if you sense that, yeah, your friend could have been jealous of this connection because they wanted this person also. But that person wanted you and it could have caused problems. So some of you guys are fully aware that you have some sort of person here who's jealous of this. And you got a lot of confirmation of that. Like someone else wanting this person and it causing issues. But this person is definitely watching you guys um, online or, you know, this person has a big crush on you. If they're a newer person, obviously, if you guys don't have social media, they just enjoy looking at you or your pictures if they have them. I honestly believe you have somebody else. Yeah. I don't know why, but I feel like someone could have lied to this person and told you you had somebody else, or maybe you did, but I do feel like there's just like a jealous friend here because maybe this person really liked you and someone was like, well, they have somebody else, you know, like they don't want you. Yeah, I do feel like this person is now realizing if that happened in the past that that was actually what happened here. Yeah, because they, they realized maybe someone interfered because they wanted that person for themselves. Let's see what else we got going on here. I'm highly attracted to you. I look at your photos. Yeah, I just said that's crazy. And then I see everyone loves you. High key, low key. Yeah. Okay, so I feel like this person realizes that you're a really great person. So like if somebody said something to them that like kind of made them not want to date you or be around you, they're realizing that that was like so stupid of them to believe it. I don't know. I feel like this person may have 
messed up or done something wrong and they're realizing that that happened because somebody secretly wanted to interfere here interesting energy because some of you guys could be asking about a situation where you didn't really know what happened like you and this person just you know they ghosted or there was an argument out of nowhere and you didn't know where it came from or they got agitated by something uh let's see what else we have going on here yeah this person just thinks that like what do they think I really see your bombshell. Like, that's what I'm hearing. They think very highly of you. They think you're very glamorous. That's what I'm hearing. I look up to you. Yeah, I feel like this person looks up to you. And if they haven't really told you that, part of the reason is because maybe you are very open about your gifts or your spiritual gifts. Or some of you guys are gifted in different ways, like music or arts. And this person feels like you're similar. Like, this person just, just feels like you share similar gifts, similar interests, similar perspectives on the world. I feel like a rebound. Yeah. There's just an energy here where this person could be listening to gossip or there could have been gossip interfering. Because for whatever reason, it's like, why do they think you have someone else? Why do they think that they're a rebound? Like, why is that coming up? And I feel for some of you, it makes sense because maybe you were dating somebody when this person came in or they seen you with somebody else or they knew about another connection here or you talked about another connection with them. You guys could just be friends with this person, but they definitely like you for sure. I feel for some of you, maybe they didn't want to cross a boundary because... Someone else they knew dated you or someone you knew liked them. But there's just an energy here where this person feels like you and them are fated together. So they're going to want to shoot their shot. Let's see what else we have here. I'm playing dumb. Yeah, I'm, I think playing dumb and hard to get will win you over. Yeah, this person actually, from the jump, intended on pursuing the connection with you. So if they pretended they didn't, it's because like maybe they just wanted to play it cool or... You know, they were, this person can be shy. I'm, I'm getting this person shy because I'm definitely getting a, like a strong silent type. Like this person's been kind of watching you and like chilling for a little bit. Yeah, interesting. This person also definitely knows more about you than they lead on. It could be because they're psychic. Like I definitely, the energy like this person kind of feels like they know something about you that you don't know. And it could do with um, a, a friendship of yours or it could have something to do with, because maybe you don't know a friend of yours tried to like flirt with them or pursue this. Who knows? But I do feel like this person wants you to know something. So they could be telling you this. Or you could be getting dreams or something like that. I do feel that for some of you, this person's just psychic. So maybe they just picked up on that fact, but you didn't know it. Like they knew that someone was trying to interfere, but you didn't know that. So maybe you listened to your friend over them. Because I do feel 444 for a lot of you guys, they feel like you chose like your friend over them or someone else over them. But it was for the wrong reasons because they do feel that... Someone was just jealous and really just wanted them or just wanted you. And yeah, some kind of interference. I hope that makes sense, guys. I know it's been a long day, but I want to get a video out for you. I think about you. I lost feelings for someone else because of you. Yeah. So I feel like this person definitely got someone triggered here. Because as soon as you came into the picture, they were just like sure about you. And maybe they have never felt that way about anybody else. Like there could have been another energy around them that they were kind of teetering around. But when you came in. Like, they're sure about you. I can't, I am kind of getting like that movie, like 500 Days of Summer, because like in the end of the movie, she's like, I was just sure about something with like him that I was never sure about you. And I feel like there could be someone like, that's like the main character in this situation because he's like, what's wrong with me? You know, someone just feels as though a rejection from this person is personal when all reality, they just feel like you and them are just better suited. So that's why I kind of feel like there's someone else here who wants this person who most likely, you know, either on their end or your end. That could have interfered here. Very interesting, 444. But I do feel at the end of the day, this person may be upset about this because even if you and this person had history, they could have hated that because they felt like deep down you and them were meant to be or you or them had more in common. Yeah. This person definitely feels like the universe is in favor of this union. They highly, highly, highly think that. Or think very highly of you. Wow, you are amazing inside and out. Yeah, wow. I can't, they can't even sleep with anybody else. What did you do? Yeah, okay, 444. Four, that's crazy. This person seriously feels like you and them are meant to be. And that could have been a shift that happened, especially if there was a falling out here. Because I do see the energy here where, like, you know, there was something that was said. And, or you call this person out or you talk badly about them. But I feel as though that could also be someone else saying something. So that may have not have happened. And then they're realizing that. But I know you are right. Like you guys probably could have had a falling out or a fight with this person. But they trust what you're saying is right. Because of the spiritual connection you guys have. 
Like this person trusts you more than a lot of people deep down. They feel very drawn towards you and there could be no logical reason for it because 444, I truly feel like this person is choosing you over another option, your friend, their friend, something like that. Like they're choosing you over something or someone and it's got a lot of evil eye headed in your direction. But at the same time, um, I feel like this person doesn't really care what anybody says at the end of the day. Yeah, let's see what else we have here. Yeah, this person just seriously feels like this situation got them kind of messed up because they strongly feel that you are for them, even if it isn't the most appropriate situation. Like there could be something going on here that isn't quite right, especially if you guys like were drawn to the last pile too as well, because we kind of had energy like that over there, but we got the true gem here. Like this person just feels like an opportunity with you is worth it. And they feel as though they are best suited for you. You and them are very similar. This person could have tried to steal you from someone or you could have tried to steal them from someone or vice versa, whatever. But they feel like it's meant to be between you and them. So I do feel this person's going to come back. And if you guys have lost contact or this person did mess up this connection, they're planning on coming back for sure. And they want to court you the right way because maybe they weren't able to in the past because there was some opposition there. But this person has always wanted to court you, be with you, be around you. Yeah, I feel like they weren't articulating that in the past, but they want to because they feel like, again, they don't want to miss their shot. They feel like you and them are meant to be. So I definitely see communication here. I do feel for some of you, maybe you work with this person or there was a situation where you couldn't really like express these feelings. So maybe they had to kind of see you, you know, with other people or they felt like they couldn't come towards you at the time. But now they feel like it could be their time very soon to come towards you. Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person I'm hearing, I was patient. Like, so I feel like this person feels as though they're being patient. You're meant for them. And if they stay like strong and um, in your life, then basically you'll see them for like, you'll see them as that person for you or something like that. They feel like if they, if you spend enough time with them, you'll see it too, if you don't already. But they're like, I think this is my soulmate. I think we're meant to be. So this person could be very spiritual or maybe even just a little idealistic depending on their situation. Yeah, this person's actually very loyal to you guys. And I feel like this can stem from a past life because for some of you, maybe from the jump, the situation was like you had a friend talking bad about you and this person noticed it noticed it, and they want to come in and help you. Like, I definitely sense this person took your side without even knowing you very well from the jump. Like, that's very interesting. And if they didn't take your side in the past, they're definitely regretting it because they see you as someone that they should defend and be around. Honestly, for a lot of you, they always wanted to take your side. They always believed in you and they always felt this connection, but maybe they were a little bit like afraid to speak up to somebody about you, but now they're not afraid anymore. Because like I said, if you guys are drawn to the last pile, this could be kind of a shift this person's doing, but just in general, this person's definitely choosing you in one way or another. And they feel like you're meant to be, and it's got somebody triggered here, but they don't really care. They're going to stand up to people or somebody here. I, I feel like, yeah. And this person really loves like, how strong you are in your morals and your convictions. So that can also be why you and this person get along. This person could definitely be very mature and very into like doing things the right way, very moral and very spiritual as well. If they're not spiritual, they could be into like just doing things with value. You know, this person really likes your integrity. So they think very highly of you. And that's why they kind of respect if you did call them out on something or if you did talk shit about them, because like I said, if you picked the last pile, they could have been in a situation that wasn't the best and you could have judged them for that. But even though the situation may not be a hundred percent like ideal, they feel like you and them are meant to be. And that's what I see here. So I do hope you guys like that message. Bye. Okay. Pile number five, five, five. The person on your mind definitely feels like you brought a lot of change into their life, even if you guys didn't intend to. I feel like you guys definitely inspired this person to go towards their dreams or you are inspiring them, whether or not you know it or not. Like maybe you know this person from the past and you guys had a falling out and this person definitely wants to change or be better. But I definitely feel as though for a lot of you, this person just feels as though you're super inspirational and you got them dreaming. You got them feeling empowered. You got them feeling that like they can do anything. I feel like a lot of you guys do have that gift of just making people feel like they can accomplish the things that they want in life. A lot of you guys are my light workers and my healers. If you're new here, welcome. But I always say the people that come to this channel, you guys have the natural gift to lift and heal and inspire people. You're always trying to probably help a lot of people in your life. So this person can see that as well. This person definitely really likes if you are a humanitarian or if you just do things your own way. Some of you guys, you don't even mean to do this. You just kind of beat to your own drum. 
And that really inspires this person because this person can kind of come from a background where maybe they had to be a little bit more traditional or they were kind of forced into a certain role. This person definitely feels like they're very lucky to have found you or to meet you. And again, if you and this person had deep talks, I definitely feel like they go home and think about the things that you say. And I definitely feel also that this person not only thinks about the things that you guys say and talk about, but they also try to plan a better future. So I do feel 555, this person wants to be better for you. They want to impress you. This person also fears that they cannot satisfy you or they're not good enough for you or they're not smart enough for you because this person definitely feels like you are super intelligent and you're super witty and they want to be able to be someone that can keep up with you basically. But you definitely inspire this person. And I do feel for some of you, if this is like somebody that you guys ended things with, they really regret the way that things went because maybe this energy kind of came later and they're kind of inspired to work on themselves to come back, especially if they sabotage this. I feel like as well, this person really likes how you try to avoid drama, but you're also not fake. Like I feel like for some of you, you have no problem being confrontational or making people a little uncomfortable if that means avoiding drama, if that makes sense. But for some of you guys, you just kind of avoid drama altogether. I feel for some of you also like this person could regret bringing drama into your life if they did because there really is a big energy of this person wanting to grow, wanting to change, wanting to be better, wanting to heal. And I do feel for some of you like they want to level you up in one way or another too. Like they want to add to your life the way that you've added to theirs or they want to be a source of inspiration and hope in your life. If they haven't been already, they want to be that because they feel like they want to repay you for helping them out five by five. Like you've helped this person out in one way or another, like whether or not you know it or not. And if it's a new person, this could be kind of like some future energy coming in because I definitely sense that you empowered this person and got them going after a goal or dream. And they may come back to tell you that. And for some of you, you may not know, like after you and this person ended, you really gave them a lot to think about and they started to go towards their goals and dreams. And for some of you, they just straight up started because of you. And they may not, not they may not have even told you this. For some of you, yeah, like you are a big source of inspiration for them. This person wants to be more like you, I feel like. This person can even post things similar to like the things that you post. Some of you guys are super like motivational. Like you can post like inspirational like quotes or something like that. They could like that. By the way, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Queen Alice Love. I'm only on private because of impersonation issues. I do not do personal readings. Just have to point that out there. Okay. I can't stop talking about you. Yeah. I feel like this person like... Even if you guys are done and over with, they'll always talk about you. They'll always reflect back to what you guys had. They'll always kind of see you as someone very significant in their life. And I feel like the angels are also saying that you guys have this gift in a lot of people's lives. You have the gift of inspiration. So they're saying if you wanted to like do something with this, like be a life coach or start a YouTube channel, they're saying go for it. I've been getting that message a lot for a lot of you to start that channel, to do your thing, because I get the sense that a lot of people feel this way about you, not just this person, but... This person even likes that you do help a lot of people or you have helped a lot of people. But I definitely sense that there's a big energy of this person wanting to be like you. Yeah. See what else we have going on here. I feel like you guys may have woke this person up to their calling. Let's see what else. I know you're destined for greatness. That's why I watch you. Okay. This person is also giving big fan energy too. Like for some of you, I am sensing that this could be someone that you and them, like it didn't work out between the two of you, but they still watch you because they are super inspired by you. This person can also be psychic or intuitive and feel like you're destined for big things. But I feel a lot of you are already moving towards those big things. Or some of you are psychic or healers and you told this person they're destined for big things and they believe you. Like the things that you say to them really make them super happy. So whatever you guys said to this person or whatever you guys have talked about really left an impact on this person. So for some of you, you could be seeing signs about them. My ears are ringing too because they think about you a lot as that person that helped them get on the right track or as that person who helped them turn their life around. And that's crazy that they credit. They basically will or do credit you for some of their success. And I feel for some of you, this person is not there yet, but they will end up very successful and they may end up like telling you this. Yeah, I'm trying to get my money up to impress you. Like, yeah, I feel like this person started on this stuff the self-developmental mission to kind of impress you or to be like you, but they may end up being very successful and you were like that person that triggered them into this. Let's see what else is going on here because I'm not getting much about like the romance end. We do have like the Knight of Cups there. So 
I do feel like at first this person came towards you because they're attracted to you, they had a crush on you, but then they ended up like getting their whole life like overhauled or they end up getting inspired to go to, towards something big. So this is good. I feel like either way, like this person has very high thoughts about you or very good thoughts about you, I should say. High vibrational thoughts I'm hearing about you. That's good. Yeah, you, you make this person feel super passionate, super happy, super inspired. Oh, the Five of Cups is there. I feel like some of you guys don't know this, but this person was going through a depression maybe before they met you or while you guys were talking or they were in a big rut or they're going through a depression right now. And this is like a current energy between you and this person. And you actually pulled them out of something dark and helped them heal. So yeah, this person definitely is sad if you're not in their life anymore because now they're really depressed. But I do feel even if you guys did have a good run and didn't work out, they do have happy thoughts. It's just sad that you're not in their life anymore. But they also still see you as someone that helped them get through a dark time. Let's see what else we have going on here. Two of Cups. Yeah, this person definitely is very upset if you guys ended or broke up or things didn't work out. It actually deeply upsets them. This person's not over whatever happened between you guys, if that's the case. But I do feel like for some of you, like you just met this person or they are someone that's in your life right now. And before meeting you, they had a hard time getting over their past or their childhood or some sort of hurdle in their life that made them feel like they can't go after their dreams. You kind of healed and empowered this person to move past the situation in their life that really affected them. So I definitely sense for a lot of you, you had deep talks with this person. You gave them some sort of insight that was life-changing and you may not have even noticed you did this. Like I said, you guys are my light workers, my psychics. Like you guys just naturally do this to people, I swear. But yeah, five, 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 you, you changed this person and they credit you for this because you may not know this, but this person was definitely going through something and being around you really helped them get out of it. Or get out of a mindset. For some of you, it's just the way you live your life. It's like proof that they can do it too. Because I am hearing if pile number five can get through it, so can I. So maybe some of you guys actually just opened up to this person about things that you've gone through. And that inspired them. Maybe they didn't share with you. But you shared with them your story or something like that. And that got them really like out of a dark place too. Because they saw you go through something or you told them about something. And it really inspired them. I can't stop thinking about yeah this person cannot stop thinking about how amazing you are this is like really dramatic 555 but some so you guys this person feels like you kind of saved their life or got them out of a really dark space or a depression but only take that if it resonates you filled this person's cup when they needed it Yes, I'm hearing that one song, like, you gave me what I needed, it. you gave me what I wanted when I needed it, and I promised that I mean it. I, I forget the lyrics, guys. <laughs> I'm, like, struggling today, but I really want to get the video out for you guys. You gave me what I needed, and honestly, I mean it, something like that, yeah. Um, Seven of Swords and Strength, yeah. You know what, 555, five, five, I feel like this person may not tell you this, because for some of you, especially for my women out there watching, this person can be, like, a very, like, strong presenting like masculine macho type maybe and they didn't want to admit that like they were struggling that bad but for a lot of you they were definitely struggling with some sort of depression or some sort of big issue in their life and you guys kind of came in and like an angel or something like that you know yeah for some of you you do know about this like they reveal to you some dark secrets they never told anybody but the connection that you and this person have in their eyes They've never really opened up to anybody in this way or they never felt so like healed after exchanging with somebody. This person definitely drew upon your strength. So maybe you were a little drained when dealing with this person because they do draw upon your strength, guys. I'm not gonna lie. So, you know, if you guys don't really want this person like, you know, in your life, like maybe you don't wanna help them in this way because, you know, they haven't been the best towards you, then I'd say like cut cords because there is a little bit of the energy where I feel like this person does get inspired but also may drain some of your energy because of how like down they could have been currently or at certain points. I didn't know what love was till I met you. Pile number 555, did you show this person some unconditional love? Because I feel like you just came in and gave them some unconditional love and they don't understand why. And they're like not understanding like, is this love or did this person just heal me? You tripped this person out. But I feel for a lot of you guys, 555, maybe the reason why you and this person didn't work out is because you were just kind of meant to heal them and help them get on the right path. And maybe they kind of saw you as somebody that is just like kind of like an angel that came through their life and that chapter's over. So they talk about you like some sort of angel that came in their life. Maybe they don't use your name. 
maybe they don't give specifics, but they're like, this happened to me and this, I had this crazy experience with this person. And even if I never see them again, I'll never forget this because they really helped me. Yeah, five out five, you got it like that. So you kind of came in like an angel in this person's life. And I feel like five by five is something from your past. Like they're definitely still watching you because they, they see that you are going to do something big. This person's definitely manifesting you by talking about you, thinking about you. They even manifested things in their own life to try to impress you. Yeah, this person sees you in their future and they hope that like your paths can cross again. And obviously, if this person's in your life right now, they see you in their in their future long term. Five by five, there is a bit of an energy too. Like if this is like a friend or an ex or there was a falling out here. Like this person does worry they'll never see you again because their life is very dark without you around. And I do feel like this person needs to kind of learn to like spread their own wings and fly. So if you did cut this person off because they were toxic or something happened here and you needed to, don't like feel sorry for them because I think they need to learn to like fill their own cup. Because I do sense that 555 that this person needs to kind of grow and change. But you gave them what they needed to do that. So if you had to cut them off afterwards, then, uh, you know, give them that space to grow. But even if it's the end of the end, I do feel like you impacted this person a lot and they credit you for that. But I do feel for some of you, like, this relationship became toxic. But that little bit of healing energy you gave them at the time really changed their life. But this person could be at a totally different place than you, you know, energetically or in their healing or vibrationally. This person definitely watches you guys you know three of cups eight of cups and i feel like this person feels like five 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 that i don't know how to describe it but like their time spent with you is kind of like a dream like a like a haze almost like they kind of like idealize their time with you or reflect a lot on it like a movie almost, like it was like a movie to them. Hmm. This is about, I'm trying to figure out what they're trying to say here. This person's trying to say something. Hmm. I feel like for a lot of you, this person did not confess this to you because they're kind of embarrassed about you seeing them as weak or something like that. Especially because this person did spend a lot of time and energy wanting to impress you. So I do feel for some of you, they didn't really talk about their problems at all to you. Or the gratitude, the gravity, I can't even tell right now. The, the gravity of them, that's what I was trying to say. But gratitude kept coming out, so that was no mistake. This person definitely has a lot of gratitude towards you guys. But for some of you, they'll never really say it, but they send that energy your way. And I feel like even if this person was toxic towards you in the past, they are sending you good energy lately. So that's good. Like this person maybe didn't realize at the time that they were being toxic towards you. They could, be, could have been draining you and acting all kinds of weird. But looking back at it, like you actually did pull this person out of a depression or you caused some healing in their life or you took some pain from them. But I, I also want to say 555, you guys could be empaths as well. So like watch out for like, you know, just like taking on the pain of others and not realizing it that it's somebody else's because I do feel that like this could be something you guys do a lot for people. Like you relieve them of their pain, but you could take it with you too. So like definitely make sure you're salt bath and cleansing and cutting cords when you need to. I feel like 555 at first this person could have thought that you and them are meant to be, but there is there is an energy here where this person is maybe realizing that Maybe you were just someone that was meant to come in and help them. That's why I am feeling like this could be a past energy. This is the current energy. I do feel like they just enjoy having you in their life, but they kind of just feel like you're better suited for somebody else. The reason why I say that 555 is just because this person like draws upon your strength and looks up to your strength. And I do feel 555, this person does want to be with you, but you kind of deserve somebody that you can also draw from their strength. And maybe you guys do in some regard, but I do sense that this connection could have been very draining because... This person was dealing with drama or they have a side of them that could be very dramatic too as well and unable to grow or change at the rate you need. Yeah, but at the end of the day, this person definitely feels though like you triggered through them through awakening, healing, growth. Um, everyone lives in your shadow. How do you feel like this person feels like you are just like a, a huge light in their life, like no one else they date or 
can even compare because you brought this like angelic energy in their life like it's bigger than like oh this is my ex like you're like a very special person to them and they definitely think about the time you guys spent together as like a very pivotal moment in their life yeah again i got it bad for you i don't care what anyone says your type i would do anything for yeah this person definitely for some of you they wish that they like turned the clock around and said this to you or they wish they fought for this connection more but I feel like at the time they weren't strong enough or right now they're not strong enough to really like fight for this connection because they're in such a bad place. But you guys may not realize this. So I do feel for most of you, this person could have been or was in a really tough spot emotionally and it definitely affected their connection with you. But at the same time, they wanted to be around you because you really inspired them and you really brought a lot of healing into their life and they reflect upon this relationship a lot. And if this person is in your life currently, then they're thinking about, you know, the things you guys talk about a lot. I do feel for some of you, like, yeah. This person does have a lot of anxiety and stuff too, so you can feel their energy. Yeah, I, a five for five, I do feel this person does not share a lot of their struggle or what they're dealing with, but you guys were able to like see it in them or they suffer from a lot of like issues, but when they're around you, they feel kind of free of their physical or mental ailments that they deal with. So yeah, you guys got some big healer energy here, but I do feel five, 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 you know, this can become a lot like being this energy for a lot of people. So like I said, make sure people can also add that to your life. But something tells me that at certain points, this person wasn't really adding much to your life because they were going through so much. And I feel like if you guys picked another pile where this person wants to come back or be better, then I feel like this person wants to come back and add to your life now because they feel like you provide them so much, but they couldn't do that for you at the time. And they're regretting that. They wish, for some of you, they wish that they did more for you because they're realizing they were kind of selfish in this connection, 555. This person was so busy trying to act tough and like impress you, but they didn't actually like do much for you, if that makes sense, 555. And I think they're realizing that now. Like you took on a lot of energy and burden here unconditionally. And for some of you, they gave you zero to nothing, you know? But I do feel like you healed this person because you show them that like unconditional love exists. But I think that you could have triggered them at the time because they didn't understand this. Like, why are you being so kind to me, you know? They could have had even like a bad reaction to this love you wanted to give them. Yeah, this person could have really dealt with a lot of manipulative people or people that gave to them and took away or toxic, you know, upbringing. Um, but yeah, this person deep down has some sort of love or loyalty to you. And I do feel for a lot of you guys, especially paired with some of their piles, this person, when they are in a right place, in a right mindset, and their money looks the way they want it to, they definitely want to give you the world. But right now, I feel like they can't again because I'm picking up this energy in another pile. But the, the mansion's in the kind of reverse. So I feel for some of you deep down, this person just stays away because they want you to be with someone better than them. They have some pretty low self-esteem issues. But I do feel, especially, like I said, pick another pile, pair another pile, they could definitely work on this because there's a lot of love here and there's a lot of appreciation for you guys and who you are and what you bring to this planet and what you're capable of. This person sees what you're capable of and they know that you're going to be doing a lot more big things. And there's a side of this person that's like, don't make me slow you down. You know, I don't want to slow you down with my problems. Like they feel like they're a burden on you and that's more of their like probably mental health issues. I'm going in on this person, huh? Yeah, this person's insecure about their money, guys. Or they think you deserve somebody that could take care of you more. But you are encouraging this person to get their money up. When you were dealing with them, they could have been dealing with problems. But now it's better, maybe, if they're coming back. Because I do feel like this person's not over you guys. But it really depends on if they get it together or not. And feel confident enough to come back into your life. Because if this person feels like they're going to be a burden or embarrassing. Or look weak. Or look pathetic. Or look like they're... Or just like... They're not offering anything to you. They're just taking from you. They're they're going to feel like useless almost. Yeah, for some of you guys, this person um, knows you're going places and maybe they can't handle like a long distance thing or something like that. Because I feel as a side of this person that's very needy and codependent, but they didn't want to, and kind of weak, you know, and they didn't want to reveal that to you, that you're stronger than them, like a lot stronger than them, or they think so at least. Yeah, and if this person did let you go, it was really hard for them. And I feel for some of you guys, have this person was going to try to come back when you have a new love in your life because it's going to really trigger them. 
it's like they're kind of sulking right now but i feel like they they will want to come back yeah and i feel for some of you this is an ex like they're just sad that they couldn't provide you what you needed and for some of you guys you chose someone else over this person and they are kind of they kind of get it they're like yeah i kind of get that and for some of you they chose someone else over you because they kind of just felt like they were like bringing you down and why they're not bringing down the other person, I'm not too sure. Probably because you guys are out here doing big things. And they're like, I'm just going to slow this person down. So, yeah, you got some, like, deep-seated, like, insecurity going on here for sure. This person thinks you are beautiful. And uh, you're looking really good. If they're watching you right now or if you have them on social media. Um, even if you don't, I definitely sense this person has seen you guys glow and shine without them. And that kind of makes them upset too because they kind of feel like they were no good for you guys. Or they're going to be no good. But I feel like I'm just a new person in your life. I kind of feel bad because you provide them with so much love and inspiration. And they kind of feel like they have nothing to offer you. Or some of you guys, you know they have things to offer. And you're trying to tell them that. But until they really build themselves up to who they want to be, I feel like they're going to stay away from you. Because they also could deal with a lot of mental health issues. And they don't want you to feel that or pick up on that. I think at first this person didn't realize that you were able to do that. So maybe you guys discuss with this person that you feel their pain or you feel something that they're feeling or something like that. Yeah. I feel like also the open relationship in reverse, like, yeah, for some of you, like this person is just very clingy and codependent and you are not like that. So they have a hard time with this connection. Yeah. This person definitely um, wants to be with you guys and wants to be around you, but Again, they just feel as though they don't measure up to what you deserve or your other options too as well. But I feel, again, if this person's younger that or this person is someone you recently met, I could definitely see this situation changing, especially paired with another pile. But I just feel for me, you're like, what the hell's the matter with this person? Like, they really love you, respect you. They just feel like you're just way too good for them and that they're only going to bring you down. But they really love that you came in and, and listened to them and inspired them and got them going on their dreams. And hell yeah, if this person makes it, they're coming back. They're like, I'm going to come back when I make it, you know? I'm going to show this person, you know? They want to show you and impress you that, like, they want to show you that um, they've grown for some of you if it's a past person. Because there's definitely some changes going on here. This person, for some of you guys, like, you're already very successful and they don't feel like they are. So that's something that bothers them, but they want to be on your level or feel like they're on your level. I feel five by five. This person dealt with making me bullying or people putting them down. Like there's definitely a lot of issues going on with this person beneath the surface. So, um, yeah. And I feel like honestly, this person may have done something messed up to you and left the situation, but really the deep seated root of this is that this person kind of wanted you to go away from them because they kind of felt like they were bringing you down or they took themselves out of the game because of it yeah this person realized that they were like dumping a lot of trauma onto you maybe and or or energy if they didn't talk too much about this but they didn't want you to be the shoulder they cry on anymore they want you to come to them or be able to look to them for strength so until they feel strong enough to be that, they may stay away. But for a lot of you, 555, this person felt like you were there for them in a tough time and they want to do the same for you. Yeah. So you guys, you moved away from this person, so you're a little bit out of reach. This person may move towards you guys in the future, too. This could be someone from your past, too, that heard that you're doing really well. I feel 555 five, five. in the future, this person's going to return back into your life. And this is a newer person. I feel like they are working on themselves and super inspired by you guys. So they are going to try to keep staying in your life, you know, work. But right now they're very career focused. No matter where this person's at in your connection, where they're at in life right now is being work focused and working on themselves because uh, they just don't like the way that things are going right now for them professionally or mental health wise, or, you know, they could have went through a breakup when you guys met. But I sense there's something deeper there that this person was dealing with and that you guys helped them get through. So yeah, five by five, you guys actually helped this person get through a dark time or you are helping them currently. But for some of you guys, it does go both ways. You do feel like this person's helping you too. And you do feel like a great connection with this person. And um, then it goes both ways. And I feel that that's great. If this person heals you, you heal them and everything is working out. 
But I feel for some of you are coming here because you have like some unanswered questions or why this person maybe, you know, 11th house friend zoning you or, and I feel like they really like you, but they're not ready right now for a relationship. And it may not be because they're not over their ex. It may just be because financially or self-worth, but for some of you, yeah, they're fully aware that like they need to get over something right now before they can come in and offer anything. But I also feel five by five that the main thing here for this person is really not another person or anything like that. It's more like you inspire them to go after their dreams or go after something and they want to do that first and come back and impress you. So that's what I'm seeing. You inspire this person and with the tower there, they're making a lot of changes right now because of you. They see you as the queen of swords. They respect your opinion. And yeah, they also see you as super inspirational and super hot. So I feel, you know, with the seven of swords there, for some of you, like they are hiding like how strongly they feel about you because of the fact that like they just feel like they're not ready yet to tell you these things. I really sense the biggest energy, which really makes me sad that you're like kind of like the sun in this person's life. Like you're really the light. Yeah. You're like the light in this person's life. And they feel kind of embarrassed saying that like, because they should be able to find joy and happiness outside of like what you guys can bring to them. But at the end of the day, I feel like if they can like learn from this experience and go after something that brings them joy and happiness because of you, then you guys do what you're meant to do here. But yeah, I feel that this person like... They're working on their stability right now and they really look up to you guys and they respect the heck out of you. They're just being single right now because I feel that or they're not committing or they're not coming towards you at the moment because they're in some sort of self-developmental phase of their life. And uh, at the end of the day though, I feel like this person will kind of rush into your life impulsively in the future or they are kind of coming out right now and they're not committing. But I feel the, the biggest root of this is that this person just doesn't feel like they can give you what you need currently. But it doesn't mean they won't in the future. And they love the heck out of you. But I feel like part of this energy is that they really like, they almost just feel as though they don't have a lot to offer you right now. That's just it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like this person, like, you bring them happiness, though, 555. Five, five. I was get like, a definite answer about what's going on with this person, but I just feel like they're going through some healing right now and a transformation. So I do feel like we're doing a Scorpio, uh, but I feel like destiny is there. So for a lot of you, this person is part of your destiny, and they're going to be returning back. And I feel like definitely check another pile. But I do feel like for some of you, you were just meant to lead this person towards their destiny and um, call it quits because... At the end of the day, they're just never going to be on your level. But I think you guys are going to know. And I feel for a lot of you, it truly has to do with their free will. So that's what I see for problem number 555. I do hope you guys like this message. Bye.